welcome back to another episode of Life is Spiritual Presents Real Life Testimonies. Uh, I'm your host, Bamboo African Bantu, also known as Brother Tim Simon Kimani, and I'm here with my beautiful wife, Erica. And just before we begin with this very powerful testimony, let's start with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you for this glorious day. I thank you for every listener under the sound of my voice. I plead the blood of Jesus upon them, spirit, soul, and body. And I pray that the Holy Spirit may lead this conversation in a direction that gives God the glory, reveals the power of God and the explosive power in the name of Jesus and in the blood of Jesus and how the enemy has been totally and completely defeated. But there are things and laws and understanding of your word that we must know. So lead us in the direction that leads, that causes us to become knowledgeable of your word. We honor you, Father. We glorify you. And Holy Spirit, take over this meeting. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Yeah, once again, viewers, we want to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for supporting uh, our ministry, for liking, commenting, sharing. We, we really look forward to uh, listening to you, finding out what you think about everything that we post. Yeah, but today, without wasting time, we are going to, you know, to listen to a very, very special lady. Her name is Mildred Kajidi. Uh, and she will be telling us what she went through. Uh, you know, the, we've been talking about witchcraft, but many people don't understand, you know, these things. They think maybe these are just stories, but we have someone who went through witchcraft and she overcame, and today she's testifying, sharing her experience so, so that uh, other people get help. So I, have you been going through uh, witchcraft? Are, are you still going through witchcraft there is someone who went through it and she overcame and today without wasting time let me allow her to tell us more of her story okay. yes you're welcome thank you so yeah. much introduce yes. yourself and yeah flow as the holy spirit leads <laughs> yeah. okay my names are mildred hajidi mm. by the grace of god i'm ministering through music mm. and i thank god for the privilege mm. uh, many people are going through spiritual uh, spiritual battle mm -hmm. as we as we can say witchcraft power marine mm -hmm. and all, the, all 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 those things but you don't know what you're going through mm -hmm. until you meet Jesus and you have you find your identity with in Jesus mm -hmm. so as you can, we can say that I was going through these things but I didn't know when I was in the darkness mm -hmm. and so my my story is that uh, my my grandfather was a witch Mm. And uh, I could say I wish a uh, uh, sorcerer. Yeah. And so my dad, as he as he was a he was a last born, so he he had to inherit the the witch the the witchcraft, the witchcraft. Uh, mm -hmm. powers. Mm. But uh, because he didn't want to inherit the witchcraft, mm. he went ahead and buy a land far from the from the from their Your home. home. Mm. Mm now as he was he as you as he was here he was by the the land mm. uh he came to nairobi and he started working mm. by then he grew up in a mother's mother's uh, where ma her mother was born mm. and so by the grace of god he was educated mm. he was educated by the uncles and so he came to nairobi to work mm. and so so he was working in a very big company uh, he was making watches. Mm. In those days, you, if you had a watch, you could be a big person. Yeah. And so, <laughs> mm -hmm. and so he he went ahead. Uh, he went ahead living in, in living in Nairobi as my mom lived in a in a rural area, mm. where where he used to to stay with the, with my brothers with my elder brothers. Mm. And so it came to pass, uh, the the brothers now were visiting my mom and told and told her that why would you allow our, our brother to stay away from our home mm -hmm. and you and he is the last born he has to inherit the calabash they say they call it the calabash mm -hmm. yeah they, they he has to take the calabash because he's the last born and mm -hmm. so my dad could not even want to associate with them mm -hmm. but little did he know he did, did he know that uh, uh, 
you can't run away from these powers. They are spiritual. Yeah. yeah. And uh, for you to run away, the place to be is in Christ. Yeah. Mm. And so he was a Catholic mm. and he didn't know about spiritual okay. things. Mm. And so he went, he went ahead and living his life. Mm. Now, it, it, it came to pass when my mom was uh, expecting me. We, are, we were born 13. Wow. 13 people. <laughs> 13 <laughs> children. Wow. Some but, mom, some dad? No. Mm. But before he, he married he married my mom, mm. he had uh, four children. This mm. is polygamy family. Four children, mm. different mothers. Mm. You oh, see. Okay. And so what, what tribe are you, if you don't mind? Amaluya. Amaluya from oh, Kakamega. Kakamega? Mm. Yes. Mm. Oh, that's uh, like Eastern Kenya. Huh? Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> and so when she was expecting me, uh the the brother visited mm. and when he, he visited as usual he said to, he he really he really wanted my mom to tell my na my dad to go back mm-hmm. so he was trying he, he was trying his level best to tell to tell my mom go and tell your husband to come back you are the one who, who you are the one who can, who can who, yeah you can, you are the one who can convince him to go back home mm-hmm. but uh, that that day when he was going back it was as he was leaving the place mm. uh is when the house got fire mm. and my mom was expecting me uh, it's like a seven month or six month pregnancy mm. and so as he as she was uh, rescuing rescuing the children mm. she had a voice of a child uh the small brother like two years mm. so as he as she went to 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 pick the child the skirt got fire and so she was burnt, you know. Mm-hmm. She got a she got a very serious wound, mm-hmm. and so the the people rescued her to the hospital. She didn't manage to that hospital. She had a referral to mm-hmm. another hospital, and the, that hospital in uh, Kakamega, they told her, no, we can't even, we can't manage this. You have to go to Nairobi to a big hospital now in Ken- Kenyatta. And mm-hmm. when we arrived in uh, in Kenyatta. And so they terminated uh, the pregnancy, and mm. so I was I was kept in an incubator, mm. where we we stayed in the hospital like a uh, six month, mm. and we were released to go home. Mm. So we came to to Kawangware in slums, where mm. my dad used to live, and uh, as a result, my dad uh, went into a, went into a depression. He was depressed. Because uh, first uh, the children were scattered, mm. and then the land was the owner of the land sold the land to another person. Oh. Now, as as he went to uh, to depression, he, he got fired, and t- now the life was so difficult. Mm. Life was so difficult. We lived in Kawangware for for like so many years. Six. So when I was in class six, eh, mm. is when my my grandma, mm. now the father to my to my dad, sent him a word that you have to come back because your brothers have already divide, divided the, the land among themselves. They were they were four, four mm. of them. But mm. it it was like um, our grandpa now lived a will mm. as he was die he died even when we were still in the hospital. Mm. And so he lived a will that two may remain in this land, and he had, he had another land far away from this one, the one they were staying. Mm. And so he, he, the 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 grandma told told that person, go and tell my my son to come home so that he may, I may give her some, I may I may give her the land, mm. her, his portion. Mm. And so as my dad as my dad go, went to 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 the rural area now mm. where my, where she was called uh, he was called eh? mm. he he's, he he find he find her he find her mother sick he was very sick mm. like he was she was dying and uh she left her she left uh, uh what we, do we call the title deed of mm. the land and mm. she told he she told her you have to go to the lawyers and uh you know your brothers the, the 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 brother the one the the brother was already bought a the, the one of his brother bought witchcraft mm. and so the other one 
while they were still while they were still young they were the other one uh, stole a, stole a, an egg mm. stole an egg from from his dad and so when he he came he asked where who who, who stole my my egg my egg mm. and so he did not even answer but he went ahead and do the charms and whatever he did and the the brother now was lame mm. he became the the leg swole the leg swole and then he became lame and witchcraft. so from yeah from mm. witchcraft and so he decided to give him witchcraft power saying that saying that uh, even if i i i say that i give it away this one is already lame he could not even support himself so they called themselves which 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 doctors Mm. No, these witches will the, is the one that will help him as he treats people. <laughs> mm. Yeah, and so they were all of them. They were witch, and mm. so we, the my dad, my dad, as he called the lawyers, and they went, uh, they went looking for the the way they will partition. Do, yeah, they will partition the land. Mm. It was it was very it was very. I don't know what I can say, but uh, these people started now fighting. fighting your dad. Yeah, they mm. started fighting him. One of his brother, the one who was visiting my mom, mm. told him face to face, even you are there, and he told him, "You have come to fight us. You le- you left your your land there. You went and buy your buy your land far from us. Why are you f- coming here to fight us? You don't have your portion here." Mm. And so he told him. That you are going to die, even your children are going to die, mm. and uh, we were so afraid. But uh, during that time, now my dad was just confused. He didn't know what to do. Mm. But as time goes, there was a there was a man of God who visited our uh, our home, mm. and he talked to mom and said, he told my mom that, hey, I've sent here by God. Mm. And uh, you uh, and uh, they have planted witchcraft in at your doorsteps. Mm. You are going to die. Uh, in the evening, you will you will you will experience the the ra- the shower rains. That's little. I I mm. came to understand that it is it is not God. It's not all rains that mm. are coming from God. Even mm. witches, they, they can make yeah, rain. yeah. Like, they can make that. rain. Mm. Yeah. So this person, this uh, this man of God, told my mom, "You will experience the showers of rain, and uh, the thunder will blow, and you will die. This thunder will kill you." Mm. And uh, God has sent me here just to terminate the the charms. Uh, take the jembe and follow me. So he went. He went to at our doorstep and told my mom, "You have to dig here." So you you approved you approved the the, the charms. And so my mom had go ahead and uproot the charm. We saw it. It was like small sticks uh, binded with a red ribbon. Mm. And so the man commanded my mom to go and uh, throw the charms in 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 the latrine in 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 our in our now the 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 one who planted uh, like was it a bamboo kind of stick? Yeah, it was like. like I've also ever seen that and in my bed mm. under my pillow mm. and uh, when we investigated my cousin was bewitching me because I was performing well in class mm-hmm. so she was jealous and she wanted me to to fail wow yeah so wow and that is in Uganda and mm. then you see in Kenya they are using the same kind of witchcraft yeah mm. yeah this was a sm- small sticks mm. and uh, in the middle it was like a like a doll mm-hmm. like and then a, they put some blood on yeah it. Mm. some blood and then they they bind it they were it, it was binded with a with a red ribbon mm. and so he co- she, he commanded her to go and throw the the charms in the in the tree mm. and so in the evening is when we experienced the same way he, he told us he, he told us that uh, we are going to experience the showers of rain mm. and so we experienced the showers of rain and the, the thunder now blew Mm. It blew and uh, it damaged that uh, latrine. It damaged it la- that latrine. And uh, recently, he had he had buried uh, the son. Mm. 
mm. and that coffin wa came out from the grave. Wow. Yeah. And so actually who you remember buried, who had buried the son? Who had buried the, the brother son? to my to my dad? Okay, okay. Yeah. So <clears throat> your uncle had buried his son. Yeah. And the place where he was buried after the thunder struck, the lightning struck, mm -hmm. his coffin came out of the grave. Yeah. Those came things out happen. of the grave. Mm -hmm. mm. Those things happen even in our in our village. The uh, my grandmother like had co wives. Mm. So the co-wife who killed my grandfather mm -hmm. also uh, lightning st uh, struck mm -hmm. and then her her grave broke and the coffin came out mm -hmm. so they had to rebury again yeah because of witchcraft wow yeah so it happens even and you remember her testimony when she was telling us how they get bodies out Absolutely. of the grave yeah, they call so, the coffin out. Yes, mm. so life is spiritual, yeah. Mm. guys. Yeah, things mm. happen, mm. and so they had to rebury. Mm. And uh, now my uncle started calling my dad. He's more than a witch. This person is more than a witch. Mm. He has come even to destroy us. And mm. so he went ahead and met a sorcerer. Mm. And so he met a sorcerer, and he he brought our, our the list of our names. And he told him that you have to kill this family one by one. So he came and confront my dad. Wow. You are going to die. Even your children are going to die. Mm. So he, he went ahead and met the sorcerer. And my sister now came to from Nairobi. The, the elder sister came mm. and she visited us. As she was going back to Nairobi, she had an accident. But it was, it was just a mere accident. But as she arrived in a in a working place, she felt like a, a headache, mm. feeling she was not feeling very well, and mm. she she ran mad. Oh no! She lost her mind. Yeah, she lost her mind, mm. Mm -hmm. and uh, when she she was go she 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 was talking to these uh nini, well they 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 bring uh mad people, madari mm. madari. Uh, and uh, it, when it, they arrived, it's a at, mental hospital. yeah, when they arrived at Madari, mm -hmm. they told them no. They 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 found a lady there, and they told no. This is a this is witchcraft power. You mm. have to bring her into in the rural area. Mm. There was this there. They will just sort the problem. Mm. And so he she was brought in a, at home now in the village. Mm. And when she arrived in the village, it got even worse. Because mm -hmm. that's where the witchcraft yeah, was coming. It mm. got even worse, and mm. she started picking leaves from trees, eating them, mm. uh, seeing dead people. She mm. just she would just say, "I'm seeing so and so, and that so and so is dead." Mm. Yeah, and so she uh, just uh, uh, it will it went like that, like a a month or what, and mm. she died, mm. and so. Before you even proceed, remember Anne told us that those sorcerers write names of people that they want to kill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they make sure those people die because they don't only write, but they perform witchcraft. Mm -hmm. And then these people, like they cause accidents, strange illnesses, and things of the kind. But the, the Bible also talks about God blotting out every bad handwriting yeah. that has been... <clears throat> yeah, you, Absolutely. Yeah, you can quote yes. that scripture. Because yes. when she was mentioning uh, how they, they wrote their names, and mm -hmm. then uh, their auntie now lost her mind after a minor accident, mm -hmm. it, it, just, it just made this scripture more clear mm -hmm. to me. Yeah, mm -hmm. the Bible talks about these things. Yes, yeah. in Colossians chapter 2. Mm. Verse 14, mm. the Bible says, uh, I'll start from verse, from verse 11. Mm. In whom also you are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands, mm. in putting off the body of the sins of the flesh mm. by the circumcision of Christ, mm. buried with him in baptism, mm. wherein also ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God, Mm. who has raised him from the mm -hmm. dead. Mm. And you, being dead in your sins mm. and the uncircumcision of your flesh, mm. has he quickened, which means made alive, mm. 
mm. has he made alive together with him, mm. having forgiven you all trespasses, mm. blotting out the handwriting of ordinances mm. that was against us, mm. which was contrary to us. Mm. That means it was against us. Yeah. And took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. Mm. So wow. blotting out the handwriting means that by the blood of Jesus, mm. the handwriting that was written against every sinner and all have sinned mm. and come short of the glory of God. Mm. So there's a handwriting that has been written against us, against every human being who's ever, David said, I was shaped in iniquity mm. in my mother's womb. Mm. So every human being was born in a, in a body of sin. And this world, because of the, the fallen nature of man, we all co have committed sin. The Bible says, for all, all have, sinned. have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Mm -hmm. So now when you sinned in the realm of the spirit, that sin you committed was documented mm -hmm. with a handwriting. Mm -hmm. Now the witch that is working against you can utilize that handwriting. Yeah, so we have to pray and um, pray blotting out. Blotting out, the, bleed the blood of Jesus. That's yes. why you, first of all, you must be born again. Yeah. To mm -hmm. escape that thing, yeah. mm -hmm. you must be born again. If you are not saved, you don't have any defense. Which blood will blot out the ordinance that has been written against you? Mm -hmm. So that means any sorcerer, any mm -hmm. witchcraft. Can just write anything against your life. And destroy you. Mm -hmm. So it is crucial that you be born again and that you live an upright life because if even if you're saved but you're lukewarm or you're saved you're still sleeping around you're still living in sin those ordinances are still written yeah. mm. if you're living in sin living in unforgiveness mm. bitterness with people mm. you are living uh, fornication mm. adultery stealing lying mm. manipulating any of the sins of the flesh you see how the word of god was talking about the sins of the flesh, the, 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 the circumcision of the flesh, meaning that your flesh, the natures of the flesh, which are written in Galatians. In fact, let me just, let me just give you those, uh, those characteristics of the flesh. Mm. Here are the works of the flesh. Verse 19, the fifth mm. chapter of Galatians, verse 19. It says, now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, mm -hmm. adultery, which is sleeping around when you're married or sleeping with someone who's married, adultery, fornication, that is uh, sex outside of marriage, mm -hmm. uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft. You see, witchcraft is a sin of the flesh. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm, has its origin in envy and, witch, and jealousy. And witchcraft mm. and jealousy, they and, work hand yeah. in hand. They flow hand in hand. Mm. So idolatry, which is the worship of any other God other than the God of heaven. Witchcraft, hatred, variance. Variance means that you're straying away from the counsel of God, from the word of God, and you vary into another belief system. So, and, and that's variance. Emulations, you know, that's just copying others who are not following after Christ. Mm -hmm. Wrath, you know, anger. Have you met people with anger problems, anger issues? Mm -hmm. Strife. These all have a spirit behind them. If everything I'm naming here has a spirit, a specific spirit that specializes in that area of the flesh. So wrath, strife, seditions, heresies. Heresy is speaking... Uh, teaching things that are not from God's word, mm. you know, the, creating doctrines like this, sow a seed doctrine, uh, sow a seed to break the back of poverty doctrine. Those are heresies. Mm. Those are because you can't find any scripture in the word of God where Jesus instructs us to do that. Sacrificial seed. Sacrificial, oh, sow your best seed. And yet <laughs> Jesus told the disciples when he was leaving, he said, go ye into all the world and make disciples of all men teaching them to observe whatsoever things I have commanded you. So we are supposed to be following the things that Jesus himself commanded the disciples. That means we're all supposed to be disciples, mm. following the things that Jesus commanded us. So Jesus never told anybody, so it's financial seed. So that's an example of heresy, okay? Mm. And there are many such like heresies. All right, another sin of the flesh, envy, murders, 
drunkenness, revelings. Reveling is the, the, the whole club lifestyle in the club, you know, womanizing, whatever you're doing in the club, being drunken and such things. And the Bible says, and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. So it is important to know these things for yourself. Mm -hmm. Now, these sins of the flesh, when you violate any of these, and there are spirits behind every one of them that cause people and compel people to, to, to live in accordance with idolatry or witchcraft or hatred or variance or heresies or envy. There's all, there are, all of those are the names of different spirits. So when those spirits begin to find expression through you, that means it is the flesh that is being glorified in your life mm. and not the spirit. So <clears throat> it is important to know these things. Mm. Otherwise, because then when the flesh finds expression, that means that an ordinance can be written against you. Now, mm. a witch, when a witch is looking at you, they're looking for any sin in your life. Any open door. Any open door. Mm. That's what the demon will look for, an open door. That's mm. why the, 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 the man of God, Paul, said, put on the whole armor Amen. of God, mm. that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Mm. That means you're supposed to be fully covered mm. from the head, from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Not you're just the head. fully covered. Not just the head. Mm. From the top of your head mm. to the soles of your feet, mm. you're supposed to be fully covered. Mm. And that means that covered with armor. And he says that you may be able to stand in the evil day. Mm. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. Mm. The, the loins are covered. That, that covers your private parts. Mm. Girt about with truth, covered with truth. That means that you are aware of the of the penalties and the consequences of sexual sins. Yeah. Mm. So the loins are girt about with truth. The mm. helmet of salvation, that mm. means that your mind thinks in line with Christ. We have the mind of Christ. Mm. At the breastplate of righteousness. Mm. See, righteousness is a shield. Mm. So as you live right, you are literally blocking the enemy. Your most powerful defense in the life of Christ is righteousness. Mm. It's not even a powerful prayer life. Uh -huh. that's, pow that's, that's an addition. Mm. That will deal with devils, that will deal with demons, that will cast out, that can deal with witchcraft. But mm -hmm. your most powerful defense? Righteousness. Mm -hmm. Upright, living right. Mm -hmm. That's the best defense. Mm -hmm. And then, um, loins girt about with truth, feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Mm -hmm. And above all, the shield of faith, mm -hmm. wherewith we quench all the fiery darts of the devil. Mm -hmm. So the enemy does send fiery darts. Mm -hmm. And those fiery darts can show up in your life, just like a fiery dart struck the young man that whom she's the, talking the about, the, the, and, the, and the legs began to swell. Mm -hmm. And now the man can't walk. Mm -hmm. Those are fiery darts. Mm -hmm. So it's important to know that the enemy does have strategies, but we also have strategies against the enemy but they are hidden in the scriptures mm, and it's good we're talking about this because uh you find that in africa almost everyone is a victim of witchcraft yes. everyone yeah. is a victim. Yeah, yeah so people are asking how how do we fight this witchcraft how do yeah. we overcome and we thank god we are able to share and now you're getting knowledge and the bible says you will know the truth and the truth shall set you free yes. so my sister Let's go back to your <laughs> testimony. Mm. Yeah, so she started uh, eating leaves. Oh, yes, yeah, she started eating leaves and eventually she died. Mm. And uh, so, so as we were preparing the burial what you know, people will, will come. And mm. the other sister came, my sister now. Mm. So she came to the burial. And mm. as she was even just staying in the, there, they say that they, they even took the, the footprint. Mm -hmm, they do that, yeah. They took mm -hmm. the footprint and as they took the footprint, you will find your legs are swollen or you could, you could not even walk. Mm -hmm. And so my sister experienced that. Mm -hmm. and, she as, and even as she was leaving now to Nairobi, she went the same route. She got an accident mm -hmm. and uh, we were told that she is in, in the hospital. And so my mom came to Nairobi to look for her. To look for her mm. and eventually then she she was even mad she she also lost her mind yeah she lost her mind but reason as to why they picked the footprints is to to steal someone's destiny 
Mm. So not only were they bewitching them, mm. they were stealing their stars. Yeah, because mm. this one now, she was a singer. She used to sing in a very powerful uh, choir mm. that w that those days were led by Majale and mm. the prison uh, the prison training choir. Mm. It was a very big choir that uh, they even sang during the Madaraka Day. They will sang in front of uh, prominent people like presidents. Mm. And so she was her star was shining. Mm. Actually, she was the one who was supporting us. Mm. And so she 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 ran mad and she came. They, 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 she, they, my mom brought her home mm. and uh, she lived there mm. and uh, now my uncle started to, to spread rumors and uh, at the children of <laughs> at his children they are going mad because they have HIV mm -mm. yeah at they have HIV and this is why they are they are running mad mm. and so she even even her she died and mm. uh, it was very, it was very sad. Painful. Yeah. It was very sad. It was very painful. Mm. And uh, eventually, uh, uh, like three months, like three months or four months, is when even my dad died. Just mm. Lani, it was like a, it was like he collapsed and died, just like that. He was not sick. Uh, mm. He was not sick. Mm. So he it died. It brings us back to them writing the names of the people they want to kill and then you see it manifesting because they don't only write they pro they program someone's life so if a person does not know how to defend themselves mm -hmm. they end up becoming victims yeah mm. and so as my dad died now the villagers pro they started pro mm. they started protesting that uh, why should you kill? Why should you kill this family? You are going to destroy this family. You are going to. You are going. This family is going to perish in the hand of the, uh, of the brothers. Mm. And so, the the and the sorcerer now came to visit, mm. the, in the village, and he said, that uh, these people that I'm, I've killed in this place, they are torturing me in, in, in at night. I mm. don't have peace. No peace for the yeah. wicked. It, mm. I, I don't have peace, and I have, I've, I've come to tell this person that has has bring these names that I won't kill them anymore. Oh, wow! Yeah, I won't kill this family anymore. Mm. And so uh, he got furious. He was very furious, mm. and so they they started they started now looking the way they they could uh, divide the land among the three the, the three people now, mm. and so as as they were. As they were discussing about that land, he came with a. There's a there's a tool that they they used to. To chobo a mashimo ndio wajenge. What a crowbar. Eh, like yeah. Mm -hmm. So he came with it, and her and he hit her. He hit his brother's wife on the neck, and mm -hmm. he died. And she died on the spot. Oh. It was on the news. The news spread all over. Oh. <laughs> oh. So as, as she was killed, you know. Uh, because of the customs and the ile utamaduni, they they say that no, we we, we shall not the eat traditions. With, yeah, the traditions. Mm -hmm. We can't eat with you. We can't share the river with you. We can't drink the same water that you have fetched from the river. Mm. You have to move from this place. So the people came and burned his house down, mm. and so she he was because of wickedness. Yeah, mm. so he was he was uh, he was chased away from the land. Mm. And now, this is when I came. Yani, this is now my personal, my personal journey with the Lord. Mm. I came to realize that uh, even me, I, I one day I will just die because mm. my dad is gone, my sisters are gone. Mm. Now, even me, there's a time I will die. Mm. And if I will die, where am I going? Mm. Because I knew there is hell and, and there is heaven. heaven. Mm. And so I prayed this prayer that God, I don't want to go to hell. I just want to go in heaven. Mm. No one told me about Christ. Mm. And so this is when I bought a Bible and I started reading the Bible. Mm. I was reading the Bible and the Holy Spirit led me the books of uh, gospel books. Mm. And so this is when I, I discovered Jesus in the Bible. Wow. I started following the scriptures. Mm. And so I, uh, by the grace of God, 
I joined a fellowship and mm. this is when I started growing the things of the spirit, mm. the things of the spiritual. Mm. And so I thank God because I I thank God because he the Holy Spirit guided me on how to pray mm -hmm. because it came a, it came it came a time that uh, I had to pray but I didn't know how to pray I mm. didn't know how to pray and so my prayer it was like God help me how to pray mm. let me know how to pray mm. and so this is when I had the Holy Spirit speaking to me mm. you have to pray Abba Father I I used to pray Abba Father Mm. I used to pray about Father like even, I don't know, I don't know which time I could pray, but wow. I could pray about mm. Father. Mm. And so... The Lord's Prayer. Yeah, Our the Father Lord's who Prayer. Art in heaven, yeah. Hallowed be okay. yeah, I used mm. to pray the Lord's Prayer mm. several times. Mm. And so this is when uh, the Holy Spirit... Yeah, now, I started the whole... I, I, I started yeah, to, to, to study that uh, Lord's Prayer. Mm -hmm. And I saw that our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Now you have to magnify the Lord. Mm -hmm. You have to tell him how big he is. Mm -hmm. And now I, I, the Holy Spirit led me how to, to do any prayers. Eh? Yes. And so I blacked into prayers. And mm -hmm. as, I, as I was praying, uh, I, I, could experience, I, I could experience attacks. Mm -hmm. And so I could even, as I sleep, I will saw a man, a, a dark man, mm. wearing a, a something like a wood mm. and a robe in the uh, on the west. Mm. And that man could stand beside me. Mm. I could not even move. I can't even, I can't even shout the name of Jesus. I will mm. just spiritual marriage. Yes, I will just, uh, I will just pray. But I will. It's like I'm praying from far, mm. you know. And eventually the man will disappear. Mm. And now. Uh, as I was in that uh, fellowship, I I came and I I, I I I discussed with a mentor now the the one who was leading the fellowship, mm. and she told me you have to pray spiritual warfare, mm. you have to pray spiritual warfare, and I will pray with you. Mm. And so we went to the mountain, mm. and we prayed like for three days. Mm. As we were praying, I, I came back, and I, I, after prayers. Now the three the three prayers uh, the three days of prayer and fasting, mm. I saw uh, I saw a wolf, something like a in, in our mm. <laughs> in our home, mm. the, we have uh, cows that do fight bulls that do fight and I saw exactly a, a cow like that one a bull, mm. Mm -hmm. the the bull was uh, the bull the bull was chasing me. Mm, like, yeah, it was like chasing me. Mm. And I entered my house and I sat on, on the couch. Mm. As I was sitting, I saw, and, and now I closed the door. Mm. I, I closed the door. And then the, the, I, saw, I saw something like a handbill, like a bean board, a small bean board mm. written by the, by the blood. Mm. It was a fresh blood that you are my child. Mm. And I felt peace. Wow. I actually I felt peace, mm. and so after that I continued praying. I used to pray until uh, as I was praying, uh, the Holy Spirit led me how to pray and uh, and pull uh, and uh, destroy every evil altar that were raised by my forefathers, yes. mm. by my Absolutely. by my by my grandfather, mm. Very uh, whatever good. that Very it was good. raised. raised to destroy our lives yes. and so I, as i was doing that uh, I, I i was experiencing attack as i do that i experience a, attack mm. and so i saw uh, i saw i was given a, a sword mm. this is the holy spirit giving me these tools wow. it was a sword a very sharp sword mm. and I, as i pray i was using that sword now to to, to destroy every evil altar mm. and uh, I used to now it was my it was the routine to pray fasting and praying fasting and praying mm. I used to fast for three days mm. and then 
I went to fast for seven days. Mm. And uh, the longest fast I did, it was 21 days of prayer and fasting. Mm. Now I went to the mountain and I prayed. Mm. Uh, as I was finished the prayer, now the Holy Spirit led me to go to, to my rural area. Mm. I didn't know okay. what God was doing. You Before know? you go to the rural area, mm. there's something she mentioned about fasting and praying. Mm -hmm. There's a time Jesus told the disciples, this kind goes only through fasting and, and praying. Yeah. But you see, when, when there is a spirit in someone's life, when it stays, it does not only stay by itself. It has to get other, other uh, stronger demons. Yeah. Mm. So let's say it is immorality in someone's life, a spirit of immorality. Yeah. So if this person makes that spirit comfortable in mm. their body, mm. because we are, we are vessels, we mm. are temples, mm. we, can, we can hold spirits in our body. Mm -hmm. So if a person makes it comfortable, mm. then the person upgrades from just uh, fornicating to now sleeping with women. Mm -hmm. And now it goes from sleeping with women to now desiring to sleep with animals. Yeah. So because the, the spirits that come in that person's life, they come stronger. Yeah. The, this one that, that is already there, when it is comfortable, it also collects other stronger demons. Yeah. Even when it is cast out, it still comes to check and see uh, mm. the, the, the house where it was uh, cast out from. Yeah. But when it sees that the house is empty, there is no word of God. This person is not praying. There's no Holy Ghost. There's, There's no, no fire. Holy Spirit. It will go and get seven more dangerous spirits. Mm -hmm. And they will come into that person's life. And that person's situation will be worse than before. Yeah. So it was the Holy Spirit uh, leading you to on, on how to deal with these forces because of the level of witchcraft that was in your family. Yeah. These spirits that you are dealing with, if you had not prayed and fasted, mm -hmm. it would be almost impossible yeah. for you to get rid of them. Yeah. Wow. You have reminded me, uh, there is a word in the Bible that says uh, mm. that uh, the sin is hidden in our flesh. Mm. There's mm. some, there's some see, uh, sin mm -hmm. that is hidden in our flesh. Mm. And so as I was praying, mm. I was... I was demonstrating that I'm taking the blood of Jesus mm. to purify my body. Mm. What, wherever the sin is hidden, mm. let, let the, the blood of Jesus flush it out. Mm. And so after that prayer of uh, 21 days of prayer, mm. I went to rural area. Mm. I had nothing by then. Mm. I had nothing. Even <laughs> that just shopping to, to bring to my mom, mm. it, I, I had nothing. So when I, I arrived at my mother's place, I used to pray uh, at night uh, like 3 a.m. to 5. Mm -hmm. But now the Spirit of God led me to pray uh, noon at, uh, at 12 midnight mm -hmm. until 5 mm -hmm. o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't know what the Lord is, was doing. Mm -hmm. But the first, the first day I prayed, I prayed and uh, my agenda, it was like, pulling down every stronghold, mm -hmm. every, uh, the, the, the evil altars. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I remember I was praying that I arise the, I arise the, I arise the, the, the altar of the blood of Jesus in mm -hmm. this place. I, I, yani now, Nina Jenga mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Yeah, I, I build, I raise an altar mm -hmm. of the blood the of Jesus in this place. Mm -hmm. I, I, so as I was doing that, I, I, I prayed for the first day. Then the second day, I prayed. Now during, uh, during, during the day, day, daylight, is when my cousin came, and he stood, uh, he stood on our fence where the, there is a, the border of the land, mm. and he started saying that there is someone who has come here. Mm. She, she is calling herself a prayer warrior. Mm, they were feeling the fire. Yeah. Mm. We will see. We mm. won't make it. Mm. We had so and so who called herself a prayer warrior. Mm. And now she's no more. She's dead. Mm. Mm. And we, we, we had so and so. And so she, he, he started naming names. To put fear in you. Yeah. Mm. But the spirit of, that the, the, the Bible says the spirit that the Lord has given us is not the spirit of fear. Yeah. Mm. But of power. power. Of power and yeah. sound mind. And a sound mind. Yeah. yeah. And so I was very bold. Mm. Even as he was telling me, I, I won't even bother. And even mom came 
and he told me why well, you you know you have heard what your bra- your cousin, cousin has said Kumbe, this person careful. is 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 rich mm. and uh, you have to be so careful mm. but i told my mom i will continue praying mm. according to the will of god mm. and so i continue that that night now mm. uh, as i was preparing myself to pray mm. i could wake up and i see it is on dot at midnight on dot mm. yeah. so as i was preparing myself to pray i saw i saw a coffin now it is in the spirit mm. i saw a coffin and this coffin it was like a two forces are struggling the the the, the 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 there's a force that is pushing the coffin to settle on the table you know how people put the dead person on the table so that they can view the body mm. and so i saw this uh, the, there was a force that pushing the 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 coffin to settle on the table but the the other one is is struggling to push it not to 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 set on the table mm-hmm. and so i had the voice telling me that pray against the premature death Mm-hmm. And so I started praying against every premature death. Mm-hmm. I said whatever killed my dad premature, mm-hmm. whatever killed my sister premature, it mm-hmm. shall never kill us. Mm-hmm. We are covered by the blood of Jesus. Mm-hmm. Uh, the blood of Jesus uh, that were uh, that were shed. Shed. shed on the tree of, of the Calvary. Mm-hmm. It is ilimaliza yote. It is finished everything. It is finished. And I'm standing here by the blood of Jesus. Mm-hmm. I'm covering this family and I started covering each and every family member by mm-hmm. the blood of Jesus. Mm-hmm. And uh, as I was doing that, mm-hmm. uh, there are some jembes where my mom usually kept them. Mm. They were flowing. Even the, they are flowing. Jembes, down. okay. Jembes are um, like shovels, huh? Yeah. Yeah. The one they used to dig. To yes. Dig okay. Them, okay. Yeah. Tools. Like farming tools. <laughs> yeah. Like a hole. Mm. And so yeah. they, those jembes were falling down, and even my mom got up and she was afraid because even the 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 house wow. was shaking. Mm. Hey, life is spiritual. Mm. Life is very Life is spiritual. spiritual. <laughs> and uh Life is of the spirit. <laughs> My grandfather is now 106 years old. He mm. he used to doubt things of salvation. But the day I they they prayed for me and I was getting my deliverance and Satan manifested in the house and things began to shake. Is the day that old man gave his life to Christ. He said, <laughs> said before that demon comes to me. <laughs> Because it is a serious demon. Yeah. <laughs> the whole I, house was shaking, yeah. but and that demon is is really aiming at taking my daughter. Now that you're chasing it away, it may come to me. Please, <laughs> I need Jesus. <laughs> no, imagine a, a small Erica. Erica was sm- much smaller than this. A very slim Erica. It did. But no man could hold her. And then when Lucifer manifested through her. He Things spoke with a base. Everything in the house is From shaking. From the walls, all the frames, everything down. There were, there were Muslim neighbors, n- neighbors who were Muslims who came to the house to see what was going on. They converted from Islam to Christianity and on the spot and began Satan. casting out Satan on the spot. Because <laughs> that, and now when Lucifer came, he came out, he, he came, began to speak through her saying, I am Lucifer. And, he, and, he, and the house began to shake. Speakers, you know, with a base, with a heavy base. base. Yeah, mm. and things are falling off the wall. Things are falling everywhere, scattering. Like mm. you would find frames on the wall flying in the air and falling down. So life is spiritual, guys. Mm. Don't don't play with your life. If mm. God has given you an opportunity to live and you've not experienced these attacks, don't give the enemy room. Don't allow the enemy to, you know to have access in your life because it's very easy for them to come in but getting out you mm-hmm. you you're, you're here in the process fasting all those things the pain you go through to but get fully the, delivered but the yeah. beautiful thing is that no matter how much the house shook no matter what fell at the end of the day at the name <laughs> of jesus out, yeah. he had to go he yeah. came out he yes. had to go yeah so mm. no matter how deep he has taken you no matter how bad the situation in your life uh, appears to be we just want to encourage you that at the mention of that name Jesus that knee that knee of mm-hmm. that demon that is tormenting you has to bow mm-hmm. and every tongue of those sorcerers that are speaking negatively against you have to confess that Jesus is Lord mm-hmm. 
Now, please yeah. remember, when you are fasting, please fast according to Isaiah 58. Mm. You cannot fail to do this thing because if you just fast without completing what the Word of God instructs you to do, this is why I am adamant. Don't, don't, don't just go for the man of God, but go for the Word of God. So make sure that the man of God teaches you the word of God in such a way that you are able to come away from that meeting and read for yourself yeah. mm. and live it for yourself. Mm. He says, is not this, 58, Isaiah 58 verse 6, is not this the fast that I have chosen? This is what he, these are specific instructions. To loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, to let the oppressed go free and that you break every yoke so when you are praying and you're fasting those are the things you're praying father loose the bands of wickedness father we undo the heavy burdens father let the oppressed go free father break every yoke you see you're praying according to specific instructions not just shooting aimlessly anyway. yeah okay then a specific instruction in verse 7 is it not to deal your bread to the hungry and that you and that you bring the poor that are cast out to your house Mm. When you see the naked, that you cover him and that you hide not yourself from your own flesh. Mm. In other words, charity, while you're fasting, you've turned your plate over, mm. but let somebody else eat that food. Mm. You deliver it, find them. You don't know where the poor are, find them, mm. locate them. That's part of your mission in life mm. to continuously be providing for someone who's poor. That is how you break the back of poverty. Mm -hmm. It's not by giving to any man of God. It's not by sowing to any seed. Jesus told the rich man, if you will be perfect, mm. go and sell what you have and give to the poor. Mm. Now, why didn't Jesus say, go and sell what you have and bring it to me? Mm. But he's Jesus. He had every right to say that. He's mm. God. He mm. had every right to say that. Mm. But why didn't he say, go and sell what you have and bring it to me? Because Jesus is a beautiful example. Mm. He, sh he leads by example. Mm. He wanted the disciples after him, not to tell people, go and sell what you have and bring it to me and sow mm -hmm. a seed. Mm. He wanted people, disciples who are truly his, mm. to teach people about giving to the poor. Mm. He said, go and sell what you have and give to the poor. Therefore, no fast is complete mm. without giving to the poor. Mm. There's, you are, that's an incomplete fast. Yeah. So it will be weekend. So you'll find yourself having to fast for long, mm. longer days of starvation, longer days of, you know, of going through the fasting process mm. when you can complete this thing in two, three days mm. and give to the poor. Ah, that thing is potent. Okay. You'll destroy, you'll annihilate altars. You'll destroy powers of darkness. Mm. The, and the promise says uh, when you do this, verse seven is what is, is, is shows you now what will happen as a result of this. He says, then no verse eight. It says, then shall your light break forth as the morning and your health shall spring forth speedily and your righteousness shall go before you. Mm -hmm. The glory of the Lord shall be your reward. Mm -hmm. Then shall you call and the Lord shall answer. You mm -hmm. shall cry and he shall say, here I am. Mm -hmm. If you take away from the midst of you the yoke, the putting forth of the finger, that's vanity, that's speaking, speaking things that are not in line with the word of God. Take away from you the yoke, that means oppression of any kind. Don't oppress anybody. If you want anything from God, mm. please stay. You, you cannot live in sin and expect things from God. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, <laughs> it can't work. <laughs> it can't work. You're destroying yourself. Yeah. You're, that's like putting electronics in water. Mm -hmm. It's going to malfunction, okay? Mm. Then shall you call and the Lord will answer. You'll cry and he'll say, here I am. If you take away from the midst of you the yoke, the putting forth of the finger, that's accusations against people, that's mm -hmm. bitterness, that's unforgiveness. Remove those things from your heart. If you fast and there's unforgiveness in you, you can even call demons to yourself. Mm -hmm. That's dangerous. Mm. It's like fast having a weapon and you don't know how to use it. You don't know how to use it. So you cut yourself with the weapon instead mm -hmm. of cutting the devil. Mm -hmm. All right. This is a sword you are holding. So learn how to wield the sword skillfully mm. so if you are fasting have no grudge against anyone mm. forgive everyone their trespass mm -hmm. otherwise the lord will not forgive you your trespass and this weapon you wanted to work on the enemy will end up working against you mm -hmm. that night spirits will visit you mm. you're busy fasting but you have a grudge you don't know you've called the spirit of bitterness mm -hmm. you don't know you are you are calling spirits you're a human being you're very powerful Mm. So you must learn how to wield the power that God has given you correctly. Mm. Yeah. So the jambes. 
began to shake. Yeah. So mm. as the house was shaking, uh, this was a spiritual warfare. It was a we are in on warfare. As you pray as a believer, mm. and you are praying, you are praying a spiritual warfare. You are at war. Mm. You are at war with the spirit beings. Mm. which you don't know, which you can't see with mm -hmm. your eyes, not unless the Holy Spirit will reveal to you. Yeah. Mm. And so after that, in the morning, is when I went ahead and started sweeping, sweeping outside the, the house. Mm. And so what I saw, I saw a blood. Mm. I saw a blood, and uh, that blood was, uh, it was uh, poured around the, the house of my brother. Mm. It's just uh, next to my mother's house. And so that blood was poured around the, the, the my, my brother's house. Mm. The witch knew very well that when we visit we visit my mom, we usually spend the night and in our brother's house. Mm. And so this one, God commanded me. Just the spirit of God led me to 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 to, to spend the night in, in my mother's house. Mm. And so he came that night. Kumbe, when I was praying, he was doing his. Witchcraft. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so as I, as I was sweeping, I saw that blood and I, 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 came, I rounded the house and I saw that blood was around the house and some feathers of chicken. Mm -hmm. And I called my mom and I told her, and I told her eh, have you seen this? And my mom started shouting. And they want to kill my children. They want to kill my children. Now mm -hmm. they have started again. Mm -hmm. The ones that killed my husband and the other two uh, girls, the two daughters, they they want to kill my children, and so mm. he, he he started. I I called him. I called him. I called him down, and I told her, "No, mm. we have to pray. Mm. Let us let us enter the house and we pray." Mm. And so we we prayed. I prayed, and but she was she she was she she had fear. Very she was very scared, mm. and she she. She started calling people, the the, the neighbors, mm. come and see what I, what these people are doing. <laughs> come and see mm. these, what these people. Are. So people, the people came and they witnessed and they said that uh, actually they want to kill your family. Mm -hmm. And uh, for me, I knew that Jesus has already sorted the problem. Mm -hmm. Nothing will, will harm us. Mm -hmm. And so, as from there, I came to Nairobi, and now. By the grace of God, I continue with my journey of praying and fasting. Mm. And uh, there's a time I went to a mountain and God told me, uh, read Isaiah. Isaiah, it was Isaiah 51 or 52. Mm. That says, arise and shine. Mm. Uh -huh, for thy light for has the, come. Yeah, the light has come. the glory come. of the Lord has risen and upon the, yeah. thee. That is Isaiah chapter 60. Yeah, it yeah. is 60, mm -hmm. actually. At your arise and shine for the glory of God has come. He says, you. let me read it. Mm -hmm. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Mm -hmm. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon you, and his glory shall be seen upon you. Mm -hmm. And the Gentiles shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your rising. Mm. Amen. And so, and this is when, and this is when I got a very uh, uh, attack. Mm. It was a very tough attack because I, I dreamt that there's someone, there's someone using a ngazi. A stairs, yeah. a ladder. A ladder. A ladder. Mm -hmm. And uh, the ladder was coming uh, from my, the wall. Mm -hmm. And this person was a man, a young man. He, he, he brought a, a chain, like a bling bling. Uh -huh. So I didn't took the, the bling bling. Uh -huh. And as, as he was leaving, I was very, I, 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 felt, I felt like the body was like a heavy. Mm -hmm. I, wouldn't even, I, would, I wouldn't even walk up. And I, 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 I had a very serious, I, I, I was sick. Eventually, I got sick, mm. and um, I went to the hospital. But the doctors did did not even see the. They were the telling sickness. me that that this is infection. Mm. But you just you will just be be okay. Which you, infection? I don't know. The mm. doctors have names for every sickness. Yeah, it is just infection. Mm -hmm. And so I I I was sick like a month, 
and even even my sisters was were like you are going to die you are dying mm. they were yani they lose hope <laughs> mm. Sorry. and this is when i prayed and i told god uh, if you could even give me a chance just to preach the gospel and i preach to people mm. just at least five, at least five people will enter heaven mm. and because i have i have no any work that i have done to to, to the kingdom of god mm. where am i going mm. where am i going i i just want to do the work for the kingdom mm. and please give me a chance so that i can preach even if it's for five people mm. that i will preach to them and save wow. through me you'll save souls mm. and so this is when i got up and i was healed mm. instantly i was healed wow. through that prayer wow wow and uh, that's a second chance yeah wow. that that's a, a second chance mm. and uh, as i was uh, and uh, as i was uh, expecting my third child mm. i had an encounter i mm. had an encounter as i was going to deliver my child mm. uh, it was a it was a a bleach, a bleach uh, delivery the child came with the legs uh, oh yeah uh-huh. so they called it bleach or what a breach <laughs> delivery, <laughs> bleach delivery. Uh-huh. Mm. The, like the the child came out with the legs yeah. first okay yeah mm-hmm. and so as i was as i as the doctor was preparing me to go and deliver they told me you can't make it this child you have to be operated mm. and so i was like no i can't be operated mm. i i argue, i argue with them i told them no even mary <laughs> mary the mother of christ mm. was a virgin and he gave birth mm. i can't be operated mm. remember this is the child the the, the third child mm. the the two have, have already uh, i gave birth, birth normally, normally. Mm. why are, why are you telling me to so they told me no you have to do so because your child has come breach this is breach delivery she can't, he can't even make it mm-hmm. and so i uh, i saw that, that they are, they know they know more about they know more mm-hmm. so i agreed with them as, as as the nurse was preparing me to go to the to the deliver to the operation room they told me no there is someone who is being operated just give her 10 ten, ten minutes you are going mm-hmm. to enter the room Mm. and this is when the baby yeah mm. no i prayed to the i prayed and mm. i said jesus you have left me you have allowed me just to to enter <laughs> you know the struggles that i have mm. that time you know we had we had that time we okay i can say we we were we were not financially stable mm. uh, if i can say that mm. and so i was like i'm the one who is going to take off my my three children mm. and now i'm going to be operated how will i manage to take all mm. so i prayed to the lord and told the lord that if you have allowed me if it is my last day on earth please i take my 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 soul unto your able hands and um, if it is not my last day i just surrender all to you and this is when i saw uh, i saw someone i saw someone it was, you know the nurse has had already injected me to to get asleep mm. and so he she was asking me some questions so that i could fall asleep mm. and so little did she know that i was praying inside me mm. she told me are you crying because the, <laughs> the yeah. tears were coming out as i was speaking to the lord mm. and so i saw i saw a, a very a bright light and mm. i saw someone on that light mm. and uh, i saw i saw the hands Mm. that stained by the blood you know mm. and i i shouted jesus as when i saw i shouted jesus is when my baby came out wow, wow. yeah the wow. baby came out wow. and uh, and they were marveled at <laughs> you know Just that call yeah. upon the name of the lord yeah. <laughs> shall be saved <laughs> yeah. Yeah, wow. that so, is incredible yeah wow. so i Glory delivered that the child was, was taken to the uh, to, to the oxygen because she was a, she had a, he had a difficult of breathing mm-hmm. because we we had we, to, we had spent a lot of time mm. we have spent a lot of time and the time yani he, he, we were coming out of time the time that we, we i was to deliver ilikuwa mm-hmm. imepita mm-hmm. yeah it, the, the, yeah her delivery time had yeah. already passed yeah mm. so so they went and 
and kept him in the, in the what's the name of the baby the name, <laughs> <laughs> the name is Habakkuk oh yeah. wow <laughs> The prophet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so we stayed in the hospital like two two day yeah, two weeks and we come out mm. and I thank God. And I continued. Mm. I continued oh, wow. with my journey. Mm. And this is when I started dreaming songs. Mm. I wow. started dreaming songs, mm. writing them down. Uh, I I love being at peace. Mm. The at yani, I love being where I will feel peace. I I will just decide to be alone. Mm. so that i will hear from god you know yes. mm. and so when i when i am that as atmosphere i will mm. just listen that god has dropped the melody unto mm. my my mm. spirit mm. and i will just start singing wow will, <laughs> singing mm. to the melody mm. and i will record it or i will write it down mm. uh, that's how i started so now. you now doing gospel yeah music. i do gospel music. worship praise i do worship i do praise wow yeah okay so someone wow. who would want to listen to your music where can they find you you i'm on i'm on youtube mm. uh, i'm on youtube as mildred kajidi s wow yeah just mildred find me kajidi s yeah okay. i have to listen to those songs yeah, yeah. wow <laughs> yeah like we were talking about uh gospel music with mariam nambi Mm -hmm. and we mentioned how the holy spirit is able to give people music absolutely yeah and yeah oh my god wow we thank god for delivering you we thank him for protecting you mm. and thank you for standing in faith it's not easy nowadays mm -hmm. especially where people are doing music for money mm -hmm. and yeah. and to do music you have to put in a lot a lot yeah yeah and, there was a time i wrote about like a 3 3 thousand uh, the need three thousand songs and three i was thousand. yeah wow I, had, i have many songs but i have already i've released just one album seven songs because of money and what and, mm. and what okay. of you and mm. so i was like i was like where would i get the money to release these songs i asked god i if if i was like I'm praying. I want a job. Mm. But God is it, it's as if you're not even listening to my prayers. Mm. You know? And uh, I I went to I I used to go to the fellowship and they will they will hear me praying. I will just ask to pray for people and I or, or just lead us in prayer. Mm. And the way they see me praying, they could say at oh, you are so powerful in prayer. But you are powerful in any spiritual but physical you are not even mm -hmm. you can't even give give someone even a shilling mm -hmm. you have to pray that God will give even uh, you will, yeah to provide mm -hmm. to provide mm -hmm. and so there was a time I uh, there was a time I prayed I went to the to, to the fellowship I mm -hmm. didn't have even a, a an offering mm -hmm. and so that time my mom called me and told me no you know what I haven't even I haven't even taken tea <laughs> mm. since morning. Can you oh. can you send me even one 100? Wow. I was I had 100 shilling to go and give to, as an offering mm. to the fellowship. And so uh, I I told her I told her I am sending you 100 shilling but you will just remove 90 shillings because oh. <laughs> oh. of the charges. Yeah. Mm. And so I, she told me just send it and i sent it so when i reached a, a, at a, in the fellowship i prayed to god bitterly mm. i said if if i i had a, i had wings i could fly mm. and I, you Come know i you. i was praying i was praying inside me but people were, we were just sitting and i was praying inside me mm, like hana yeah mm. And so as i was praying I, i i told god if i were i had a, i had wings i could fly and meet you face to face so that i could tell you face to face that you heard my my prayers and so i prayed like that when we were we were about to give the offerings they bring the basket and i had no money to, to you know oh. people people are looking at you like the prayer warrior the prayer warrior <laughs> Everyone has to be tested in ministry. The prayer warrior but you oh. have nothing. We've yeah? also been tested. We've also been tested. Yeah. We've gone through so, it. Mm. Yeah. And so the basket, the basket passed around 
and I took I, I took my hand, empty hand, and I told God, you know me. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know me very well. I have nothing mm-hmm. to give you. But through this hand, you are going to bless me and I will give to you. <laughs> I will give to you the offering. Mm-hmm. And this is when I, after fellowship, I had a voice call telling me, go somewhere. There is your work there. Mm-hmm. I used to play it. I used to play it. It's just a gift. I didn't, didn't hear. Yeah, I didn't okay. go to school. Mm. It is just a gift from God, plating hair. So I went there. But the first question they asked me, do you have clients? Because you have to have clientele so that mm. we work on commission on salons. Mm. Mm. And so I went there and uh, I, I told them, I, for the time being, I don't have clients. And so just give me a space to to just to wash this salon. I will be washing the salons, cleaning the mm. salon, serving tea. Mm. Just, just give me the opportunity, mm. and so the boss gave me the opportunity, and uh, by the grace of God, I, I, <laughs> you know, I was in, I was, I was fearing. Huh? Even if I, yani, that thing came to torment me that I have given. A, I, a, God has given me the gift. I have songs, but I have not released them. Mm. Mm. What if the rapture will come today? Mm. What will I answer to God yeah. that what did that what what you gave me? This is what I did with the gift that you gave me, and I I remember the book that said that there was some people that Jesus they were given talents, uh, and yes. the one went and hid hid their <laughs> talents. <laughs> so I went to the boss and told him I want money to to really to to do gospel music. So he he lent me a lot, and I went ahead and doing the. The first album, the album that I, the album that I, wow, yeah, wow, wow, <laughs> wow. wow. Yeah. Then the album, it's nice. Mm. Mm. Wow. And so that that's what I have done by the grace of God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 We continue to trust Him for more provision, yeah. and protection as well. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh my God. Mm. Yeah. I've been you, blessed. You know when when you mentioned. Uh, uh, the the person who they lost their ability to walk mm. because somebody had taken their footprint the which is that they take your the place where you have stepped yeah yeah mm. uh, and what came to my spirit was Joshua chapter 1 verse 3 mm-hmm. and God spoke to Joshua and he said every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon mm. that have I given unto you as I said unto Moses. Mm-hmm. So you see the place where your, the sole of your foot treads upon, mm-hmm. it has to do with your purpose, with yeah. your destiny, destiny, and with your inheritance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's why they come and they take a portion of the place where you stepped upon to go and see if they can curse you, mm-hmm. to see if there's any unrepentant sin, to see if you're even saved. Mm-hmm. If you are not, you don't have any protection. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow, they can do, you know, they can really destroy your life. Mm-hmm. And then she mentioned the uh the the traditions of of her family members yeah. mm-hmm. and and jesus also complained about this very thing he says in mark chapter 7 verse uh verse 13 he said making the word of god of none effect through your tradition which you have delivered and many such like things you do so you see there is something that can make the word of god of none effect it is called traditions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's why Satan has intertwined witchcraft with traditions, mm-hmm. especially across the continent of Africa. Mm-hmm. There are so many tribes and there are traditions that have been intertwined with witchcraft. If somebody's getting married, they have to come and slaughter a cow. or they, they, they always, There's always some kind of spilling of blood. There's always a, a way that they do things. If a, if a family member dies, a certain order of things must be done. If mm-hmm. a house collapses, then apparently they're not allowed to sleep inside a house in in a place where there's a a shelter until the house is rebuilt. You know, such like strange traditions Mm. that have their origin not in the word of God, but in witchcraft and in sorcery. Mm. And so when I hear people telling me, you know, Christianity is a European religion, you know, go back to your African roots. I'm in Africa right now Mm -hmm. and we're dealing with things that come from the rural areas. Mm And we know that those things that you are calling African roots and African traditions is witchcraft. Mm. Slaughtering chickens, pouring the blood Mm -hmm. outside. That's not African tradition. Mm. That is witchcraft. It has Mm. its origin in hell. It became tradition because people started doing it. Mm. 
and the it's and black magic. It's just yeah, that's the, just black magic. The Europeans use uh, white magic, and Indians use red magic. Yes, Europeans same. Freemasonry, which is white magic, which is which is you know witchcraft and sorcery that has been written in books. Mm. You know, um, Indians will use red magic. There's and they have you know millions of gods, which are demons. Some are fallen angels, but theirs is also another form of magic and witchcraft and sorcery, and idolatry. And Africa is mostly black magic. It is handed down from generation to generation through oral traditions. They teach them how to do things orally. It's not like they would write them down. Mm. So you might not find any documents or, or historical reports of how they would do their witchcraft. But mm. it's handed down from, from generation to generation through oral tradition. So the traditions of men make the word of God of none effect. So if you are going to stand in Christianity, there are some traditions that you're going to have to get rid of. Yeah. You have to turn your back on them. Mm -hmm. Slaughtering of cows, for, what are you slaughtering for? Why can't we just buy meat in the, in, the, in, the, in the butchery? Okay, even if you have the slaughter, must you slaughter to the ancestors? Mm -hmm. Must you recite certain incantations? You know, does it have to be done at night? You know, things strange, traditions like that, those things, especially when you're getting married or when somebody is being buried, the traditions can you can find yourself being covenanted to an altar just through the traditions of so-called ancestors so mm, you know example, be very aware when my grandmother died and i went to attend her funeral service people never expected me to go because of what she had put me through i went and as soon as i arrived they mentioned that her all her grandchildren and children are needed in in the house but i had gone uh, praying. Mm -hmm. So when we entered the house, I found they had put her coffin in the center of the house mm -hmm. and they, they had surrounded the coffin and they were they were reciting some incantations. I think they wanted the spirit of my grandmother to choose a person it, it would descend on. So because they wanted me to inherit her witchcraft, I was a target. Mm -hmm. As soon as I arrived, they announced that we enter the house. So in my spirit, I began to refuse and reject mm. all of that. Mm. And they pulled my hand to, to make me join the circle. And as soon as my auntie held my hand, it's like she felt uncomfortable. Like mm. I was burning her. She mm. just pushed me and she ordered them to get me out of the house. Mm. So I, I, I just knew that by praying, I disorganized their stuff. Yes. And they failed to get someone to inherit. The spirit could not enter anyone. Yes. So that's how my grandmother's witchcraft in our family ended. <laughs> wow, amen. Yeah, so these traditions are real. Yeah. It's yeah. important to pray. Your, your, your prayers are powerful. Please don't, just because you don't see what's taking place when mm. you pray, don't think at all that they are powerless. Your mm. prayers are very powerful, but pray the word of God. In yeah. fact, we'll do another video about that just mm. talking and teaching about how to pray the word of God. We don't pray our own assumptions. Mm. We don't pray our own ideas. Mm -hmm. Don't think that your tears are what moves God. Of course, he, he empathizes with you. But in a court of law, it is the word of God. Mm. It is the word of the law. This mm. book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. So it is the word of God that holds sway in the courtroom. So you present the word of God before the Lord. He said, come, let us reason together. You know. So you pray according to the word of God and things are happening in the realm of the spirit and that's what was taking place even when the, the relative the cousin came and told her you think by your prayers you're going to do a b c d I've, we've destroyed others well her prayers mm. are, is exactly what was disorganizing him if she, her prayers were powerless why did he need to come and speak to her uh -huh. <laughs> by the way the enemy uses words mm. even if you see david and goliath mm. goliath had to speak and david spoke back yes. when the enemy is speaking you against have to speak you, back. you have to speak the word you have mm. to speak back mm. and, and what david spoke is exactly what happened mm. yes. if david had just kept quiet everything goliath had said about david would, 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 would come, to pass. come to pass so you see the, the the battle was won first of all verbally mm. through words yeah. and then the physical thing follows mm. so when the man came to tell her that you're going to die because we've killed the other ones and they also died but she did not remain silent she had to say, I will not die. Mm. You think I'm going to die, but I refuse to die. The blood of Jesus speaks for me. Mm. And that was enough mm. to keep her alive. Mm. So even I thank God mm. 
because uh, it is now 15 years mm. since we buried our dad. We mm. haven't buried anybody. 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 Yeah. Wow. That's a victory that I'm rejoicing Amen. that we haven't even buried anybody. Mm. Uh, although they could even send snakes into mm. my mother's house, mm -hmm. you will have that, that the snake was, you know, mm. funny things. Yes. But as you pray, mm. the Holy Spirit just lead you how to pray and destroy those things. Mm. And, uh, and uh, as, the result, uh, as the result, you will come out victorious. Mm. And the other thing you are, you, are, you are saying about the words, the witches usually use the words. And you, the, all, the, everything that you, you see, the, the, mm. the, 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 anything that you see that God created, even mm. if it's the sun, the stars, the... Mm. These things, they have ears. Mm. They yeah. have ears, they listen. They can mm. Whatever God created, oh. it can hear. Mm. And so the witches and sorcerers, they use these things against us. Mm. As you read uh, the book of Malachi, the word of God says that if you, you, will, you will bring your full offering, mm. the, sun will, the, the righteous sun will, will shine over you. And all, the, all things that you will shine, your life will shine. Mm. But you know... My mom told me that my grand my grandfather was killing people by that word. He was saying, "You, if you wronged him, or, or you know, mm -hmm. he will just feel jealousy mm -hmm. over someone." But because he was calling himself a witch doctor, mm -hmm. he used to to treat people by herbalism. Mm -hmm. But you know, they are not even doctors. Mm -hmm. They bewitch someone. And, and then, then they, someone will come and they bring, you know? a yes. and then they bring another problem. Which is exactly what happens in the world of the kingdom of darkness. Mm. Problem, reaction, solution. In other mm. words, they cause the problem, then you have a, re a reaction, mm -hmm. then they provide the solution. Yeah. And then they bring <laughs> another problem. Another yes, problem. To keep you enslaved, yeah. to yeah. keep you coming back. Mm. That is classic witchcraft, classic sorcery. Yeah. And that is exactly what is going on worldwide, even with the vaccines. They introduce a pandemic by creating a deadly pathogen into the world. It spreads all over the place. They see the reaction, people are dying. Then they provide a solution, solution. you see, and make a fortune yeah. by enslaving the entire world. Yeah. Mm. So that is ongoing. That is the system of sorcery and witchcraft. Now you hear how her grandfather was the one who was practicing that. Mm. Now, look and so what if, the, if mm. before you read, mm -hmm. he could even, he could even, uh, he could even say, he could even say to that person that that he feels jealousy or he has wronged him mm. that you see this son as he comes down you will end before will the go, end of the this, day yeah before mm. the, the as the sun goes down you will go with it mm. and eventually the person the person you will hear people are screaming that this person is dead mm. in imagine just eventually without even being sick or what joshua also spoke to the son joshua spoke to the son and commanded it to remain above the valley of Ajalon mm -hmm. and commanded it to stay still. And the Lord hearkened to the voice of the man. Mm -hmm. It's one of the only times no. that a, a righteous man has commanded the sun to stand still and the moon and to even, stand still. Yeah. And even Ezekiel, the way God told him, speak to the wind and the wind came and mm -hmm. <laughs> speak to the bones and the, mm -hmm. the wind came, you know. These are some of the things that <laughs> humanity lost when Adam sinned because God gave dominion to man. Mm -hmm. He said, be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth, subdue, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. Well, this world is alive. Everything is alive. Because if you look even at the minute, uh, basic, the basic atomic structure of anything called matter, you'll see that it is in motion. Things look like they're still, but they have atoms. And if you look closely at the atom, it's in motion. Mm. In other words, this world, everything in this world is alive. Yeah. Mm. So you can speak to things and they will hear. Now, the Bible says that when she, you know, when she spoke about her grandfather bewitching people, that means he was deep in idolatry mm -hmm. and he was deep in witchcraft. Yeah. That put her family through hell. Yes. I told you, anywhere you see witchcraft and sorcery, you will see poverty, mm -hmm. sickness and disease, untimely death, misfortune of the worst kind mm. and so uh in the in the in the word of god exodus the 20th chapter of the bible says and god spake all these words saying i am the lord your god which have brought you out of the land of egypt out of the house of bondage then he begins to give the rules 
And these rules exist until this day. Mm. God's word does not change. He says, you shall have no other gods, small g, before me. You shall not make unto you graven image or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above or is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Talking about the marine kingdom. Mm. He said, you shall not bow down yourself to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and the children's children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. So anybody in your family line, in your ancestral line, who went into idolatry and began to worship other gods, brought curses upon his bloodline, yeah. not just to himself, but to the third and fourth generation after him. That means his descendants three and four generations away will suffer all kinds of curses. Mm -hmm. And those curses are listed in Deuteronomy chapter 28, from verse 15 all the way down to verse 68. Poverty, sickness, untimely death, working hard, making little money, all of those curses are listed. And all that goes all the way down and includes slavery. You'll literally be a slave, working for others and, and doing nothing, or have suffering from diseases that are incurable, mm -hmm. like cancer. It speaks about the emeralds. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt suffer from emeralds. Those are that is those are tumors. Those are cancerous cells mm -hmm. that kill and cannot be cured. So mm -hmm. those are the curses that are listed. So um, you know we're going to pray and lead you in a prayer that you can deal with the generational curses that came as a direct result of your ancestors to the third and fourth generation before you. That you don't know who they were, first of all. You don't know what they did. But we do know that they were in darkness. We do know that they were in witchcraft. That's why across Africa, you know, foreigners were able to come to this continent and rule over them completely. Why? Because they turned away from God. Mm -hmm. And they dove into witchcraft and idolatry and sorcery and became fools and became foolish and became, you know, uh, overly superstitious. Mm -hmm. began to rely on witchcraft and idolatry and sorcery. And yet the magic and the sorcery that they're practicing was of a lower level. There's a higher level of witchcraft, mm -hmm. which the foreigners, with, which the Europeans were practicing. When Europeans came to Africa, they didn't, they didn't come here to introduce Christianity. Mm -hmm. They came to introduce Freemasonry and higher levels of magic and sorcery. So because their magic was superior to the local magic, they were able to dominate and to take over. And they had more knowledge anyway. They had more weapons. So, um, we are going to pray with you and actually we'll ask her to pray. Hmm. And just the very same prayers that she was praying to break those generational curses hmm. and to fight against the altars. Because when you're praying, you must repent for the sins of your fathers. In hmm. fact, let me just show you that scripture very quickly. Uh, Leviticus chapter 26 from verse 40. The Bible says, If they shall confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers with their trespass, which they trespassed against me, and that also they have walked contrary unto me, and that I also have walked contrary unto them and have brought them into the land of their enemies, if then their uncircumcised hearts be humbled, and they then accept of the punishment of their iniquity, then will I remember my covenant with Jacob, and also my covenant with Isaac, and also my covenant with Abraham will I remember, and I will remember the land. So you see, you, you, are, you have to repent for the sins of your ancestors. It's written in the Bible. Yes. So when you do so, you break. You ask the Lord to break the covenants that they entered into. Then ask the Lord to destroy the altars because you don't know what altars and where those altars are. But mm. the Lord knows. He's all-knowing. So you ask Him to destroy those altars that have been speaking against your life. And don't forget to fast. And when you fast, give to the poor. Mm. According to Isaiah chapter 58. Mm. So you see, you must operate according to the knowledge of God and according to His ways. We don't just do it in our own ways. We do exactly what He commanded us so that the thing works. And when you see it working, ah, the glorious life is yours. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Personally, I've been blessed with her testimony, mm. and I hope 
uh, our viewers have also been blessed please feel free to comment tell mm-hmm. us what you think about uh, everything we've been sharing and also don't don't just watch by yourself share and let someone else be blessed you never know maybe that person you're sharing this video too needs this message so just share feel free and then um, we 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 have a foundation known as World Share Foundation. Mm-hmm. Uh, we we are based in Uganda and Kenya, and we don't have our we don't have uh, World Share Foundation platforms on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Uh, avoid b- getting conned. There are people who are opening up platforms in under under World Share Foundation and conning people. So we don't have. Uh, uh, platforms anywhere. If you want to find out more about our foundation, you can visit our website, which is www.lifespiritual.org. Also, uh, to find our books, you can find our books on the same website or on Amazon Kindle. In, in Uganda, you can visit Uganda Bookshop, Enjoy Bookshop, and Aristo Bookshops. Very soon, we'll let you know where the books will be available in Kenya, but for now, we deliver through G4S. You can just contact those numbers on the screen. Yeah, I hope you've been blessed. We have been blessed. Before we close uh, this session, we want our sister to say a word of prayer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Amen. Let us pray. Mm-hmm. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you, oh God. Mm-hmm. We thank you that you are God that never fails. Yes. You are God that says that you, we are your own. And you will deliver us from every hinder, hindrance, oh God. Yes. We thank you that you, you have delivered us from the, from the slavery of the enemy. Yes. And now, God, we can stand boldly, confessing that you are Lord in our life. We can stand and say that indeed you have delivered us, oh God. Mm. And we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you, Lord Almighty, for our families. Mm. We thank you for our ministries, Jehovah God. We mm. thank you, Lord Almighty, for each and every viewer that is viewing us, O oh God. Mm. Lord Almighty, King of all glory, we repent mm. our sins, O oh God. Yes. May you forgive us, O oh my Father. Mm. Forgive us, O oh God. Mm. Forgive us for whatever we have done. Lord Almighty, you have said through seeing, Lord Almighty, we see things that we are not, we are, they are not pleasant unto you, Jehovah God. Mm. King of all glory, may you, may you have mercy upon us, O oh God. Mm. We pray that, Lord Almighty, even those who are still struggling with witchcraft power, mm. the altars that were raised by their, by their forefathers, oh God, mm. Lord, may you come and deliver them, oh my Father. Yes. May you deliver them from that bondage, oh God. Mm. The way you delivered us, oh my Father, through your blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, may yes. they get their deliverance, oh my God. Lord mm. Almighty, you have said it's not because that we are righteous, but because of your mercy, Jehovah God, mm. you come and you remove the burden of our, of our, on our shoulders, oh my Father. Mm. May you remove their burdens, oh God. Yes. May you remove them from slavery, my Father. Yes. Because you are God. You are our deliverer. You mm. are our God. Mm. Jehovah King of all glory. Mm. We call you Yahweh. We yes. call you Adonai. Yes. We call you God of gods. Yes. Jehovah King of all glory. Our other gods under the sun, they are the works of men. But mm. Jehovah, you are God forever. Mm. You reign forever. Mm. You are mercy are forever, oh yes. God. Yes. May you have mercy because of your people. Mm. May you have mercy because of them, oh God. Mm. Because of their generation and the generation to come. Mm. Lord, may you have mercy and deliver your people, oh God. Mm. Father, we give you praise. We give you honor. Mm. Even as we continue to test Testify for your goodness, oh my Father. May you continue to fill us with your Holy Spirit. May you continue to fill us with your power, Jehovah God. Yes. Lord, you have, you have said in your word, we shall not die, but mm-hmm. live to testify for your goodness, oh God. Yes. And Lord, we declare and we decree that you are going to continue to testify for your goodness, mm-hmm. the goodness that you are doing in our life, oh God. Yes. We thank you and we give you the praise. Mm-hmm. It is in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Yeah. Well, God bless you. God bless you, <laughs> Mama Maisha yes. and Mama Habaku. Yeah, Mama Habaku. <laughs> and Daddy Maisha. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy Zo. Yeah. God bless you. Witchcraft and spiritual warfare. The awesome third part of the Erica testimonial series. In this edition, Erica exposes witchcraft and reveals how it can be defeated and overcome in the name of Jesus. Everything you are going through now has an origin, and that origin can be dealt with, but you must know how. 
Find out in Erica Part 3, Witchcraft and Spiritual Warfare and overcome every obstacle in Jesus' name.